on, Cosmos. Hey, I got an email, Doc Stinky Bait. <laughs> they want to know the recipe. Come on, Cosmos, give it up. I don't mean to bother you while you're shooting. You and Mr. Don are playing the fool again, aren't you? One goes in there, four goes in there, three goes down there, five over there, seven banks across the side, and the cue ball goes through the whole bunch and knocks them out. I can't believe it. Have you ever seen anything like that? A rabbit, Cosmos, Buck Bunny, and Mr. Don playing the game of horse like you'd play with a basketball, but on a pool table. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this upcoming film short. I'm your host, the Doc, the Ghost Net Guy. And for years now, I've been out in the habitat in my small little boat, The Intense, looking for derelict and lost nets. So let's get with it. The recipe for my stinky bait in this upcoming titled Stinky Bait 73. <laughs> it's crazy, but you got to get out and dig some earthworms. That's part of it. Now, this has evolved over years of being on the water. So let's get back into time. Look at Cosmos Right Eye and get me on the back of rolling when I'm in my early 30s off of the pillar. Now, the recipe is starting to evolve. Yep, lots of ice. Keep your cold. Cut it into little strips. Slap it on the hook. Ah, voila. What do you use? WD-40. What else? And anise extract at this time. Both of these ingredients added to one very important ingredient, and that's Procure. Yes, herring oil Procure and herring butter Procure. I can't point it out enough that fish just plain will gobble it up, as you see here on the video. So now let's look at how to make stinky bait. We have our earthworms. Yes, that evolved back in about 90. I'm out on the boat. And I was working with a client that liked to mooch. You know what he did? He took an earthworm and he'd put it on the trailing hook. And then he'd run his cut plug herring. I'm telling you what, it just plain produced good results. So what do I do? I've added it to my ingredients now, earthworms. Ah, Wright's liquid smoke. Another time I'm out with a gentleman that loved to do steelhead fishing up into the river systems. You know how the fish come up around the bend so many times? Well, there's a lot of nets in there, too, as you can see here. But he believed in Wright's liquid smoke. So add that to the mix. So now what do we have? WD-40. Anise extract now is added. Yeah, it's 90% alcohol, so don't let your friends drink it. <laughs> so now that's added to the mix. Use the whole bottle. WD-40, oh, spray 10 to 15 seconds. Now let's take one cap full of Wright's liquid smoke. And now let's add to the container of the mix those earthworms. Oh, a dozen or so, whatever you want. Mush them up good. Add it to the mix. Now when you look at herring, I like to educate you a little bit on what's good bait, better bait, and the absolute best of bait. And we're going to label it A, B, C, D, E, and F. And as you look at the chart, you start to understand the different coloring. So you want as much blue and green in your bait as you possibly can get. When you stick it in this mixture and let it all freeze in the freezer for, oh, Four or five months? Six months? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, when you get ready to fish it, it's simple. 
You can take, leave the guts in, which I prefer, lots of scent, take a toothpick, you can bend the tail and stick it up where, yep, that's right, and it'll give it faster action at a slower boat speed. Until next time, remember, sharp hooks, clean leaders, specializing in your technique really does make a difference whether you get that fish in the boat or not. Also, for you youngsters that are looking to learn a trade, I'm not going to let you down. Your affirmation of life on this YouTube, ha <laughs> ha, look at becoming a welder. It's amazing all the different equipment that they use and all the good things that come about when they've welded metal together and fabricated and made something for someone. Wow. So think about being a welder. For Cosmos, this is the doc saying bye-bye.